Willard Carroll Smith II, also known by his stage name The Fresh Prince, is an American actor, rapper, and film producer. Primarily known for comedic and dramatic acting roles, Smith is the recipient of numerous accolades, including four Grammy Awards, one Golden Globe Award, and has been nominated for four Academy Awards. As of 2021, his films have grossed over $9.3 billion at the global box office, and Smith holds several U.S. and international box office records. Smith first achieved recognition as part of a hip hop duo with DJ Jazzy Jeff, with whom he released five studio albums and the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 Top 20 singles Parents Just Don't Understand, A Nightmare on My Street, Summertime, Ring My Bell, and Boom. Shake the Room from 1984 and 1994. Smith released the solo albums Big Willie Style, Willennium, Born to Rain, and Lost and Found, which contained the US number one singles Getting Jiggy With It and Wild Wild West. Smith achieved wider fame for his fictionalized self portrayal on the NBC sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. He starred in the action film Bad Boys and its sequels Bad Boys 2 and Bad Boys for Life, and the sci-fi comedies Men in Black, Men in Black 2, and Men in Black 3. After starring in the thrillers Independence Day and Enemy of the State, Smith portrayed Muhammad Ali in Ali, earning his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Smith then starred in a range of commercially successful films, including I, Robot, Shark Tale, Hitch, Hancock, and seven pounds. He gained his second Academy Award nomination for portraying Chris Gardner in The Pursuit of Happiness, and received critical praise for his performance as an isolated virologist in I Am Legend. Smith's portrayal of Bennett O'Marlow in Concussion was positively received, followed by portrayals of Deadshot in the DC Extended Universe superhero film Suicide Squad and Genie in the live-action Aladdin. Smith's portrayal of Richard Williams in King Richard was critically acclaimed, winning the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Drama. Chapter 1, Early Life Smith was born on September 25, 1968, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to Caroline, a Philadelphia School Board Administrator, and Willard Carroll Smith Sr., a U.S. Air Force veteran, and refrigeration engineer. His mother graduated from Carnegie Mellon University. He grew up in West Philadelphia's Winfield neighborhood, and was raised Baptist. He has an older sister named Pamela and two younger siblings, twins Harry and Ellen. Smith attended Our Lady of Lourdes, a private Catholic elementary school in Philadelphia. His parents separated when he was 13, but did not actually divorce until around 2000. Smith attended Overbrook High School. While it has been widely reported that Smith turned down a scholarship to attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, he never applied to college, because he wanted to rap. Smith says he was admitted to a pre-engineering program at MIT for high school students, but he did not attend. Chapter 2, Career? Chapter 2 Section 1, 1985-1992, The Fresh Prince Smith started as the MC of the hip-hop duo DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, with his childhood friend Jeffrey DJ Jazzy Jeff Towns as turntablist and producer. Towns and Smith were introduced to each other by chance in 1985, as Towns was performing at a house party only a few doors down from Smith's residence, and he was missing his hype man. Smith decided to fill in. They both felt strong chemistry, and Towns was upset when his hype man finally made it to the party. Soon after, the two decided to join forces. Smith enlisted a friend to join as the beatboxer of the group, Clarence Holmes, making them a trio. Philadelphia based Word Records released their first single in 1986 when A and R man Paul Oakenfold introduced them to Champion Records with their single Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble a tale of funny misadventures that landed Smith and his former DJ and rap partner Mark Forrest in trouble. The song sampled the theme song of I Dream of Genie. Smith became known for light-hearted storytelling raps and capable, though profanity-free, battle rhymes. 
The single became a hit a month before Smith graduated from high school. Based on this success, the duo were brought to the attention of Jive Records and Russell Simmons. The duo's first album, Rock the House, which was first released on Word Up in 1986 debuted on Jive in March 1987. The group received the first Grammy Award for Best Rap Performance in 1989 for Parents Just Don't Understand, though their most successful single was Summertime, which earned the group their second Grammy and peaked at number 4 on the Billboard Hot 100. Smith and Towns are still friends and claim that they never split up, having made songs under Smith's solo performer credit. Smith spent money freely around 1988 and 1989 and underpaid his income taxes. The Internal Revenue Service eventually assessed a $2.8 million tax debt against Smith, took many of his possessions, and garnished his income. Smith was struggling financially in 1990 when the NBC television network signed him to a contract and built a sitcom, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, around him. The show was successful and began his acting career. Smith set for himself the goal of becoming the biggest movie star in the world, studying box office success's common characteristics. In 1989, Smith was arrested in relation to an alleged assault on his record promoter, William Hendricks, all charges were dismissed. Chapter 2 Section 2, 1993-1997, Solo Music and Film Breakthrough Smith's first major roles were in the drama Six Degrees of Separation, and the action film Bad Boys in which he starred opposite Martin Lawrence. The latter film was commercially successful, grossing $141.4 million worldwide. However, critical reception was generally mixed. In 1996, Smith starred as part of an ensemble cast in Roland Emmerich's Independence Day. The film was a massive blockbuster, becoming the second highest grossing film in history at the time and establishing Smith as a prime box office draw. Dot in the summer of 1997, he starred alongside Tommy Lee Jones in the hit Men in Black, playing Agent J. The film was released on July 2 by Columbia Pictures and grossed over $589.3 million worldwide against a $90 million budget, becoming the year's third highest grossing film with an estimated 54,616,700 tickets sold in the U.S. It received positive reviews, with critics praising its humor, as well as Jones and Smith's performances. During the summer of 1997, Smith also began his solo music career with the release of Men in Black, the theme song for the film, which topped singles charts in several regions across the world, including the U.K., Men in Black was later included on Smith's debut solo album Big Willie Style, which reached the top 10 of the US Billboard 200 and was certified nine times platinum, by the Recording Industry Association of America. The third single from the album, Gettin' Jiggy With It, became Smith's first Billboard Hot 100 No. 1 when it was released in 1998. Chapter 2 Section 3, 1998-2013 leading man status. In 1998, Smith starred with Gene Hackman in Enemy of the State. The following year he turned down the role of Neo, in The Matrix in favor of Wild Wild West. Despite the disappointment of Wild Wild West, Smith said that he has no regrets about his decision, asserting that Keanu Reeves' performance as Neo was superior to what Smith himself would have achieved, Although in interviews, subsequent to the release of Wild Wild West he stated that he made a mistake on Wild Wild West. That could have been better. Smith's second album was again supported by the release of a film theme song as the lead single, Wild Wild West, featuring Drew Hill and Cool Mo D, topped the Billboard Hot 100 and was certified gold by the RIA. The album in question, Willennium, reached number 5 on the Billboard 200 and was certified double platinum by the RIA. Will 2K, the second single from the album, reached number 25 on the Billboard Hot 100. Before the end of 1999, a video album was released featuring Smith's seven music videos released, to date, which reached number 25 on the UK music video chart. The same year, 
He was also featured on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air co star Tatiana Ali's single Boy You Knock Me Out, which reached number three on the UK singles chart and topped the UK RB singles chart. Smith portrayed heavyweight boxer Muhammad Ali in the 2001 biopic Ali. For his performance, he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor and the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Drama. In 2002, following a four year musical hiatus, Smith returned with his third album Born to Rain, which reached number 13 on the Billboard 200 and was certified gold by the RIA. The album's lead single was the theme song from Smith's film Men in Black 2, called Black Suits Comin', which reached number 3 on the UK singles chart. Later in the year, Smith's first compilation album Greatest Hits was released, featuring songs from his three solo albums as well as those produced with DJ Jazzy Jeff. 2003 saw Smith return for Bad Boys 2, the sequel to the 1995 film Bad Boys, the film follows detectives Burnett and Lowry investigating the flow of ecstasy into Miami. Despite receiving generally negative reviews, the film was a box office success, grossing $270 million worldwide. In the following year, he starred in the animated film Shark Tale and the science fiction film I, Robot, both films were box office successes despite mixed reviews. Smith's latest album Lost and Found was released in 2005, peaking at number 6 on the Billboard 200. Lead single Switch reached the top 10 of both the Billboard Hot 100 and the UK Singles Chart. In 2005, Smith was entered into the Guinness Book of World Records for attending three premieres in a 24-hour time span. Smith and his son Jaden played father and son in the 2006 biographical drama The Pursuit of Happiness. In the film Smith portrays Chris Gardner. Smith first became interested in making a film about Gardner after seeing him on 2020 and connected with him during production. The film, along with Smith's performance, received praise. On December 10, 2007, Smith was honored at Grauman's Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Smith left an imprint of his hands and feet outside the theater in front of many fans. Later that month, Smith starred in the film I Am Legend, released on December 14, 2007. Alongside marginally positive reviews, its opening was the largest ever for a film released in the United States during December. Smith himself has said that he considers the film to be aggressively unique. A reviewer said that the film's commercial success cemented standing as the number one box office draw in Hollywood. On December 1, 2008, TV Guide reported that Smith was selected as one of America's top 10 most fascinating people of 2008 for a Barbara Walters ABC special that aired on December 4, 2008. In 2008, Smith was reported to be developing a film entitled The Last Pharaoh, in which he would be starring as Tahaka. Smith later starred in the superhero movie Hancock which grossed $227,946,274 in the United States and Canada, and had a worldwide total of $624,386,746. On August 19, 2011, it was announced that Smith returned to the studio with producer Lamar Edwards to work on his fifth studio album. Smith again reprised his role as Agent J with Men in Black 3 which opened on May 25, 2012, his first major starring role in four years. After the release of the film, Smith was content with ending his work with the franchise, saying, I think three is enough for me. Three of anything is enough for me. We'll look at it and we'll consider it, but it feels like that it might be time to let someone else do that. Men in Black 3, released, ten years after Men in Black 2, grossed over $624 million worldwide. Unadjusted for inflation, it is the highest grossing film in the series. In 2013, Smith starred in After Earth with his son Jaden. The film was a disappointment at the domestic box office, and was panned critically. Calling the film the most painful failure in my career, Smith ended up taking a year and a half break as a result. Chapter 2 Section 4 
2015 present. Smith starred opposite Margot Robbie in the romance drama Focus, released on February 27, 2015. He played Nicky Spurgeon, a veteran con artist who takes a young, attractive woman under his wing. Smith was set to star in the sci-fi thriller Brilliance, an adaptation of Marcus Segi's novel of the same name scripted by Jurassic Park writer David Cope, but he left the project to work on the Ridley Scott-produced sports drama Concussion. In Concussion, Smith played Dr. Bennett O'Marlo of the Brain Injury Research Institute, the first to discover chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Smith reported he had doubts about the film early in the production, saying, some of my happiest memories are of watching my son catch and throw a football. I didn't want to be the guy who did a movie saying football could be dangerous. These views subsided when he met Omalo, whose words about American ideals resonated with Smith. Smith's performance was praised for being sensitive understated. In 2016, Smith played Deadshot in the supervillain team-up action film Suicide Squad. Smith's participation in the film meant choosing it over a role in Independence Day, Resurgence, which he said would be like clinging and clawing backwards. Later that year, Smith starred in director David Frankel's drama Collateral Beauty, playing a New York advertising executive who succumbs to a deep depression after a personal tragedy. Weeks after signing Smith onto the film, his father was diagnosed with cancer, from which he died in 2016. As part of his role required him to read about religion and the afterlife, he was brought closer to the elder Smith, calling the experience a beautiful way to prepare for a movie and an even more majestic way to say goodbye to my father. His film Bright was distributed via Netflix on December 22, 2017. An urban fantasy, it was the most expensive film for Netflix to date. Smith collaborated with his director from Suicide Squad, David Eyre. That month, Smith launched his own YouTube channel, which as of July 2019 has over 6 million subscribers and 294 million total views. Also in 2017, Smith released the song Get Litter collaboration between him and his former group mate Jazzy Jeff. Smith performed the official song Live It Up alongside American singer Nicky Jam and Korsavar singer Ira Streffy at the closing ceremony of the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Moscow, Russia. That September Smith appeared, alongside Bad Bunny, on the Mark Antony song Esther Rico. Smith portrayed the genie in the live-action adaptation of Disney's Aladdin, directed by Guy Ritchie. He also participated in the soundtracks by recording singles, Arabian Nights, Friend Like Me and Prince Ali. The film was released on May 24, 2019. Aladdin grossed over $1 billion worldwide to become Smith's highest-grossing film, surpassing Independence Day. Smith was also featured on rapper Logic's song Don't Be Afraid to Be Different, from his fifth studio album Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Smith appeared as an assassin who faces off against a younger clone of himself in Angeli's Gemini Man, released on October 11, 2019. Later that year, Smith had his second starring role in an animated film, In Spies in Disguise, opposite Tom Holland. Smith voiced Lance Sterling, a spy who teams up with the nerdy inventor who creates his gadgets. In 2020, he reteamed with Martin Lawrence for the third film in their franchise, Bad Boys for Life. In 2019, Smith invested $46 million in esports organization Gen.G with Smith's Dreamers Fund, which he co-founded with Kaisuke Honda. In June 2020, it was announced that Smith would star in Emancipation, directed by Antoine Fuqua, in which he portrays Peter, a runaway slave, who outsmarts hunters and the Louisiana swamp on a journey to the Union Army. Smith's memoir Will, which was written with Mark Manson, the author of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, was published on November 9, 2021, and promoted with a tour. The book is a journey of self knowledge recalling childhood traumas, his relationship with his father, and his experiences with ayahuasca. In the same year, he and his Westbrook Studios company signed a deal with National Geographic. Smith portrayed Richard Williams, father and coach of tennis players Venus and Serena Williams, 
in the 2021 film King Richard. For this role, he won the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Drama at the 79th Golden Globe Awards. On February 7, 2022, Nat Geo announced that Smith would star in a series titled Pole to Pole, which will stream on Disney+. The show will follow Smith and his film crew as they go on a 26,000-mile trek from the South Pole to the North Pole. Chapter 3 Personal Life Smith married Cherie Zampino in 1992. Their son Willard Carroll Thray Smith III was born on November 11, 1992. The two divorced in 1995. Thray appeared in his father's music video for the 1998 single Just the Two of Us. He also acted in two episodes of the sitcom All of Us, and has appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show, and the David Blaine, Real or Magic TV special. Smith married actress Jada Corran Pinkett in 1997. They met when Pinkett auditioned for a role as Smith's character's girlfriend in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The pair produce films through their joint production company Overbrook Entertainment and Westbrook Incorporated. Together they have two children, Jaden Christopher Sire Smith, his co-star in The Pursuit of Happiness and After Earth, and Willow Camille Rain Smith, who appeared as his daughter in I Am Legend. Smith and his wife Jada have expressed unconventional practices on their monogamy, jokingly calling their commitment bad marriage for life. Both he and Pinkett Smith have admitted to having extramarital relationships and believing in the freedom to pursue them. Smith said he wanted a polyamorous relationship with actress Halle Berry and ballerina Misty Copeland but through therapy ultimately abandoned the idea. Smith and his brother Harry own Thrayball Development Incorporated, a Beverly Hills-based company named after Thray Smith, and his family resides in Los Angeles, California. In 2018, Smith celebrated his 50th birthday by performing a bungee jump from a helicopter in the Grand Canyon. Smith was insured by Lloyds of London for $200 million for the jump which raised money for the charity Global Citizen. In October 2021, on a GQ segment, Smith called Wild Wild West a thorn in my side, while reflecting on both his best and worst movies, and added that to see myself with chaps, I don't like it, while saying that the Men in Black franchise was his favorite performance. Chapter 3 Section 1, Religious and Political Views Chapter 3 Section 1 Subsection 2 Faith Smith was raised in a Baptist household and attended a Roman Catholic school and church. In a 2013 interview, he said he did not identify as religious. In 2015, Smith said in an interview with the Christian Post that his Christian faith, which was instilled in him by his grandmother, helped him to accurately portray Benito Omalu in concussion, saying, she was my spiritual teacher, she was that grandmother at the church, the one having the kids doing the Easter presentations and putting on the Christmas plays and her kids and grandkids had to be first. She was the most spiritually certain person that I had ever met in my entire life. Even to the point that when she was dying she was happy, like she was really excited about going to heaven. In 2018, Smith performed the Hindu rite of Abhishekha of Lord Shiva at Haridwar, India. He also performed an arti of the holy river Ganga. He has said that he feels a deep connection to Hindu spirituality and Indian astrology. Chapter 3 Section 1 Subsection 3 Philanthropy Smith gave $1.3 million to charities in 2007, of which $450,000 went to two Christian ministries, and $122,500 went to three Scientology organizations, the remaining beneficiaries included a Los Angeles mosque, other Christian-based schools and churches, and the Yitzhak Rabin Memorial Center in Israel. Smith and his wife have also founded a private elementary school in Calabasas, California, the New Village Leadership Academy. Federal tax filing showed that Smith donated $1.2 million to the school in 2010. Chapter 4, Discography Vig Willie Style Willennium Born to Reign Lost and Found Chapter 5, Filmography Chapter 6, Awards and Nominations. 